This is about the array function. What is array function? It is a function that enable us to do LED light effects with different settings. This help us manipulate a specific light behavior by selecting digital output in order or a random selection. Okay, let's move here. Now, the first, we're gonna declare our variable. So declaring a variable, you can see here, I gonna name this lid run. Declaring array function after the variable, we should have the close square bracket. And then after the square bracket, you should have equal sign and curly bracket. Inside this are the digital outputs. For example, five, we have five, comma, six, comma, seven, eight, nine, and ten, right? And then close curly bracket and don't forget the terminator. So we have six LEDs, right? So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now the next is the timer. Uh, we need to declare the timer uh, here so that uh, we can easily change the value of the delay. Uh, I've got two timer, timer, the, this is a timer, then the next is timer two. This is for the next effect of the LED light, right? So here, after declaring the variable of the array function, go to uh, initialize the setup. So the same as what uh, we did last time. But uh, at this point, uh, we change the value of the parameter, zero and six. So I will explain to you, array and uh, the function that we did last time are different because the array function starts with zero. In the digital output, we start at five because we connected to digital pin number five until 10, right? But in the array, uh, implementing the, the uh, rule for loop, uh, we're gonna use the starting uh, number of zero, for example, uh, this is 0 to 6, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? So how many, how many, uh, uh, how many numbers? 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Why this is 7? Because the rule of for loop is start at 0 and end after uh, beyond the last value, which is number 5. And beyond this number 5 is number six so this is why we use six all right but uh, students uh, do not confuse because in the array you should use the rule of numbering from zero so zero represents the digital pin number five one represents the digital pin number six two represents the digital pin number seven followed followed by number eight number nine and ten right so implementing the parameter, you should follow the rule of array, not uh, using the number of the digital output uh, as the same as what we did last time. But the, the activity last time, we, we cannot do uh, any other effect. We cannot manipulate any, any effect, those function. But in this function, we can have more effects. So now let's go to uh, implementing the parameter to initialize the array so it's here for int x is equals to zero because it starts of the the array so array zero representing the five and then x is less than six and so six is the last uh the value beyond the last value which is number five then x plus plus all right and then pin mode led run and then the variable inside the square bracket, all right? So it's a different setting. Huh? Uh, this is advanced uh, programming. All right, next, now we implement the first function effect, all right? So now I'm gonna go to our uh, editor. So we're done here. So let's go to the first effect that uh, we're gonna make for the first uh, function array. It's the first effect now, all right? So for int, x is equals to zero x is less than six and then x plus equals one right and then digital right let run x high and then timer after uh, the delay the given uh, delay duration time so it, 
uh, low and then there is another timer and then the, the behavior of the effect will run throughout the six LEDs right so now I will try to run this uh, the, we have effects number two but I will remove this first I will put this back later uh, right before running this function make sure that the subroutine or the function must be uh, put inside the loop right so here after creating the function this one effect one you're gonna have to copy this and put it inside the main loop right and then we'll run it right done uploading right. so this is it so uh, effect one which is uh, implemented here inside the loop so for for int x is equals to zero x is less than six and then x plus equals one so this is running now six led right uh, remember how this is using the array function we're not using the same function as uh, what we did last time so now I'm gonna give you another example effect and this is for uh, effect number two so for the effect number two we're gonna have to uh, select only three LEDs instead of six LEDs we're gonna have to select only three for the effects number two so I prepared this code already put this here and then I explain this to you All right so we have now effect uh, number two void effect two right so void effect two curly bracket and we have already end curly bracket right cd cd one curly bracket right this one bracket and this one all right okay so the effect number two we're gonna have to choose uh only three leds running right for the running light so what we're gonna do is very simple so this parameter is the, first, the effect number one we have the parameter of int x is equals to zero x is less than six and then x plus equals one so at this point we're gonna have to change x uh, x plus equals two all right so x plus equals two so all right so effect number two uh, this is the parameter x is less than six x plus equals two so selecting the uh, LED the alternate right so green red yellow I'm using different timer so the timer and the timer 2 for the effect number 2 and then for the effect number 3 that uh, is your activity you're gonna have to create your own uh, time delay right so timer 3 uh, definitely all right so after this before I upload the, the program I'm gonna put this function here so add effect number two here right so effect two right and then so remember students the timer number two and timer they have the same uh, number of delay so 50 uh, milliseconds and this 500 milliseconds right so I upload code and try to look at the effect of the LED all right this error effect two token all right what is the problem here Timer. all right so we need to have another you should have two curly brackets at the end of the effect so upload it again all right run and then random selection of LED run random selection of LED run then green red and then yellow 